Hi guys, welcome. In today's video, we're gonna learn how you can place ads in your Android application and earn money through those apps. Now, in order to do that, we're gonna use a third party service that is Google's AdMob. It comes with Google's facilities and services, and it is completely trusted because it comes from Google. Now, for integration of AdMob in your Android application, you have to go to this website. I'm gonna put the link of this website in the description. And if you are new to AdMob, please sign up to your AdMob account with your Gmail ID. I have already signed up to my account, so I'm gonna simply log in. After you log in, you will see a dashboard like this. And in the navigation panel, click to the apps. If you do not app any apps, click at your first app. And here you have to decide that your app is on the Play Store or not. It also gonna support the iOS apps. If you are a iOS developer, you can also integrate AdMob to your iOS apps. So I'm gonna simply select no. And here you have to give the name of your Android app. So I'm gonna simply call it my application. Now select the platform if your app is Android or iOS. And now simply click the add button. It's gonna give you an app ID. I'm gonna show you that what is the use of this ID in the later part. For now, click next create add unit. Now you are gonna have to select what kind of ad you want to place in your Android application. AdMobs gives you four significant ad options. The first is banner types ad. You have probably seen these types of ads in many Android applications. The second app is interstitial ads. It's covered the whole mobile screen. The next type of ad is it's basically used in gaming applications. And the last type of ads is native ads. With this, you can change the ads color theme according to your Android application's color scheme. So in this application, we're gonna simply focus integrate banner ads so select the banner ads now give a name to your ad unit i'm gonna simply call banner ad you can give any name you want and if you click in advanced option you're gonna see some advanced options i'm gonna leave it as that it is and simply click create add unit now your ad is successfully created and it gives you two ids one is a app id and the second is a banner ad id and do and these two things are really important and now click here in this link and it gonna take you to AdMob's official documentation page. And here it's gonna show us the how we can integrate ads in our Android application. The first thing we have to do is copy this dependency in our project's app level build.gradle file. In Android Studio, I have already created the layout with a simple linear layout and a image view. I will paste the banner at the bottom of the image view. So open the build.gradle file and in the dependency section paste that dependency and sync the project. 
remember you will need the internet connection when syncing the project now sync is finished let's close the window and then the next step is add this metadata in your manifest file so copy the metadata and open your android manifest we have to paste the metadata inside the application tag so paste the metadata inside the application tag and in the android colon dot value section we have to paste the app id that we are previously generated so go back to that web page this is the app id copy this id and we will paste the id in here now we also need internet connection to load our ads for that we have to ask for the permissions the permissions that we need is internet and access network check now we can close this file now go back to the website and select the ad format we are using banner type so click implement a banner This is the banner XML code. Copy this code. And in Android Studio, I will paste the code below the image view. And Change it width and height to match parent. To occupy the whole space. Here in the add unit ID, we have to paste that ID that we have previously generated. So go back to the website, copy the ID and paste it here. Now let's move on to the Java coding part. For that, go back to the website, and copy this whole code, and paste it here, inside the onCreate method. Now you can see bunch of errors, don't worry, we will solve it one by one. First, let's create an add view. Name it M add view. Now, the thing that we need is import those classes. For that, go back to that web page and copy these imports. We'll paste the import in the import section.
we also need this at unit import. Now the errors have been solved, we can run and test our application. But when you first run the application right away, you might not see any ads. Because Android Studio takes 2-4 to four days to place your ads in your application. So to test your application code, we will use some demo ads. So go back to the documentation web page. And in the navigation drawer, click test ads. Scroll down and you will see bunch of IDs for the test. So copy this banner ID. And we will replace this ID to the demo ID. And let's run the application to see how it's work. Okay guys, you can see this is the image view and here below you can see the demo test ad. Although this is a test ad, please remember to replace the original ID to your demo test ID. Okay guys, that's it for today and if you have any problems, please let me know in the comment section and please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.